and welcome again to my channel learn with miles last video i was talking about a figure of speech and today's video i'll be talking about idiomatic expression which i am going to discuss the meaning and examples as well as the origin of each idiomatic expression now what is idiomatic expression idiomatic expression is a phrase or expression that mostly presents a figurative non-literal meaning attached to the phrase however some phrases become metaphorical idioms while retaining the literal meaning of the phrase an idiomatic expression is a type of informal language that has a meaning different from the meaning of the words in the expression it can be hard to understand from the literal meaning Every language has idioms and it can be difficult to learn if you're not a native speaker of that language. If English isn't your native language, the best thing that you can do is to have a conversation with a native speaker and ask them about phrases that you don't understand, since idioms are influenced by culture. Learning the idioms of the language can be very interesting and enlightening. Here are the common idiomatic expression. Every cloud has a silver lining meaning good things come after bad things. So be optimistic no matter how difficult life is, because every cloud has a silver lining. Have you remembered what Katarina Grace answered during her final question in the 2018 Miss Universe competition? The question was, what is the most important lesson you've learned in your life and how would you apply it to your time as Miss Universe? Then she replied, I work a lot in the slums of Tondo, Manila, and the life there is poor and it's very sad. Take note on this line, poor and it's very sad. And I have always taught myself to look for the beauty on it, to look in the beauty in the faces of the children, and to be grateful. And I always bring this aspect as a Miss Universe to see the situation with a silver lining. So she was using a dramatic expression on the last part of this line, which is a silver lining. And it really sounded interesting and added more color in her speech. But the main point here is that she was encouraging Filipinos to be hopeful and to be grateful no matter how difficult the situation is. Because every cloud has a silver lining. Next, kill two birds with one stone. Meaning accomplish two things at the same time. For example, you drop your kids to school while going to work. So you can accomplish two things at the same time. Another example, you're doing some works report while drinking coffee. That is killing two birds with one stone, or to complete two actions in one. Another example, making a business trip to some beautiful vacation place. Business pleasure, running or riding a bicycle to work. Get to work, get to exercise, that is killing two birds with one stone. Another example, I am doing laundry while chatting with my in-laws since this will kill two birds with one stone. This phrase was originated from the story of Didalus and Icarus from Greek mythology. Didalus killed two birds with one stone in order to get the feathers of the birds and make the wings. The father who is Didalus and the son who is Icarus who escaped from the labyrinth on creating by making wings and flying out. Next, break a leg. Break a leg is a typical English idiom used in theater to wish a performer a good luck. This expression probably reflects a superstition, perhaps theoretical superstition in which directly wishing a person a good luck would be considered as bad luck. Therefore, an alternative way of wishing luck was developed. Examples, break a leg, shouted the stage director to his actress before the beginning of the play. Another example, you have an exam today, break a leg, Break a leg is an ironic or non-literal saying of uncertain origin. Break a leg is commonly said to actors and musicians. Breaking a leg doesn't seem to have much to do with good luck. Next, piece of cake. What is the meaning of piece of cake? Piece of cake is means something that's too accomplished or a very easy task. When you think something is very easy to do, you can say it, it is a piece of cake. Examples. I'll have to work really hard for the theory part of the exam, but the practical exam will be piece of cake because I've been practicing for so long. Another example, don't think that this term's work will be a piece of cake. You'll have to study hard to get a good grades. Another example, they said the test would be difficult, 
but it was a piece of cake. I'll pass with no problem at all. So piece of cake is an activity that requires little effort to finish or a very simple job or task that can be done easily. It is thought that this idiom originated in the 1870s when it was a tradition to give cakes as surprises in competitions. In some parts of the USA at the time, slaves would participate in cakewalks where couples would perform a dance mocking the mannerism of their masters. The most graceful couple would be receive a cake as a prize. From this expression, a piece of cake started being used to describe something that was easy to achieve. Next, dress to kill. What is dress to kill? Dress to kill is an elaborate attire dress to draw attractions. Dressed very extravagantly, intentionally wearing clothes that attract attention and admiration especially of a woman wearing the best clothes that attract attention. Example, she arrived at the party dressed to kill. The man was dressed to kill in tuxedo, hat, gold watch, and expensive shoes because he was going to accept an award. So dressed to kill is someone wearing the best clothes that attract attention, especially for a woman who's going to attend parties or events. The first of these hyperbolic expressions take from the early 80s and uses kill in the sense of to a great or impressive degree. The phrase to the nines in the sense of superlative dates from the early 70s and its original meaning has been lost, but the most likely theory is that it alludes to the fact that nine, the highest single digit numeral, stands for best. Also see Gives It Up. So learning a dramatic expression is a very necessary and important part of the language learning process. Likewise, a lot of daily speech is based on idioms. In this way, the learners will become more fluent in English and will be able to communicate better.